Hey guys, today I wanted to make a video on the trailers, on the brands of the trailers. So, um, I do have an old video on the trailer, which brands are good, which brands are not. Um, but due to the poor quality of the audio, I'm doing it again. So this one is a ut utility, it's a 2010. And you can look at it, um, you can see the walls are good. The doors are good, you know? So uh, that's what I mean by utility ages well, especially when it gets old. So if you look at the air, I did have to change out all the airbags, which is normal wear and tear. But if you look at the cross member, they're clean. And I'll show you uh, one of your younger Great Dane and what happened to his cross members. The utility cross members, the metal ones that were the tandem slides, last a lot longer compared to the Great Dane. But only downfall of a uh, utility is this inside floor. I don't have a key to this one. Um, let me show you just a second. So this is a Great Dane. It's a one year uh, younger than the other one. I'll show you the cross members. You see how it's welded? Because these start to break off. Um, it's a big problem with the Great Dane trailers so be careful when you buy them used so uh reason why i haven't got rid of this trailer is because the inside is very clean it looks brand new from the inside and the outside the only problem is these cross members and the guy i talked to he said he will charge five thousand dollars to take out all the cross members out that doesn't include the uh parts um, but he can do it with under $5,000. So this is what I mean by the cross members going ma bad on Great Danes versus utility. Utility um, wears better on the on the bottom, but it has problem on the floor. The um, I don't have a key for the other one. If I could open it, I would have shown you the floor. Uh, you will start to see cracks in the floor where you have to get it welded and get it repaired. Great Dane floors stay uh, very good. This remain clean and they don't go bad. But only problem is the cross members. So you might wanna be careful with when you buying uh, a trailer. Uh, watch out for trailer that are coming from Nebraska, Iowa, where they see a lot of uh, snow and you could be facing these issues. And the crazy part is if you don't pay attention to the cross member, it's not gonna break uh, at the back. It's gonna break in the front, in the middle. Um, you probably seen a lot of video where the trailer gives in and uh, it basically collapses from the middle. That's how it's gonna collapse. So this is what I have to do con uh, constantly if I need to run this trailer, um, is to get it repaired before I send it out. One or two, you can get uh, live uh, without, but you can't have more than one or two uh, for just for a trip, nothing more than that. Because when you come back, you gotta get it done. Otherwise it will break even more. Um, even if you weld it, it's gonna keep on breaking. So it's very important you get rid of it if you can if you can get rid of it and you still got to use it it's been a good trailer to you then you got to change out these cross members very important guys so this is my video on the quality great Dan versus utility if you have any questions please like share subscribe let me show you the but if you look at the overall condition of it you can't really tell if it's a uh, five-year-old trailer or ten-year-old trailer 
they do wear well so yeah guys if you like please share uh, subscribe and hit the ring button thank you